Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be trying to make a six board chest out of this book here. Um, yeah, uh, yesterday I did cut up some wood, some boards already. I bought uh, two 1 by 12 by 96 boards. Uh, yeah, so the plan for right now is to cut the remaining pieces from here and then try and put everything together. It should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. My lathe broke, the motor burnt out, so uh, so I'm just waiting for a replacement on that. And uh, hopefully that comes in soon, and then I can fix it. And uh, yeah, get back to turning. But you know what, this is a good opportunity to, to try something I've been wanting to do for a while now. So uh, with that, let's get to it. All right, so I managed to cut all the boards, which took me a lot longer than I was anticipating it would. Uh, I ended up using poplar for the quarter inch ones because I didn't want to mill down that. Uh, yeah, and now that I'm looking at it, I forgot to cut these lengthwise, so I'm gonna go do that. And then, so I have to make these one and three quarter inches wide. I gotta do that and then yeah and then I'm gonna have to lay everything out so I'll bring you back for that for the laying out of things yeah it's going okay so far you know it's fun it's good fun okay so the tricky part now is gonna be figuring out what's required of me here so it says break out the lumber I did that so I need to put these to his side I guess And I need to measure out. So this is something's not making sense right now. Okay. Let's say this one's the lid. Okay. And then which side do I want facing out? Say this is the front. This will be the back. Okay. Then I gotta mark out lap joints, which I'm not sure. So instead of you listening to all me ramble, I'm just gonna try and figure this out and bring you back and tell you what I did. Alright, so I think I figured this out. I don't know how well you can see this, but what I've done. I don't really understand how this joint works, but anyway, I'm going to cut out this little bit here on each of these. So these are the front and back panels, and then I imagine what happens is that it'll join up here somehow, so this will be the side. Uh, so that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. So I'll cut that now, and then, uh, yeah, see how that goes. I also cut my finger pretty good too, so I'm a little bit, it, uh, what's the word, set me straight. Yeah. Alright, so it's taken me a fairly long time to get to this point. What I've done is cut out the lap joints here, here, and on the front and the back. Um, yeah, and it's just sort of... It's, it's taken me a long time, uh, at least a few hours. Anyway, now the point is, now what I'm going to try and do is cut a dado into the sides here for the bottom piece to slide into. Um, yeah, so that's really there. I am finding the book confusing, the instructions confusing, and the pictures 
aren't exactly representative of what you should be doing. So there's that. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's, let's continue on and we'll see how it goes. Okay. So what I'm doing now is putting down some tape to cut out these dados. Um, the tape just protects against marks from the router and things like that. Uh, yeah, so this, I have a feeling, will take me a little while. Thankfully, though, you know, I got that Veritas router, which I get to use again, which I enjoy using. Uh, yeah. So let's see how this goes. So that went a lot faster with the chisels than I thought. I used the three-quarter inch chisel to get right in there. Worked out great, actually. Uh, so now it's time to rip this out. So we to use this fun little tool, which, now that I think about it, might be a little bit hard because of my thumb. But let's get there. Okay, so. I hate to admit this, but sometimes I'm a real idiot. The issue is, is this is set for bullnose work. It's not set for routing, so I need to take this out. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta take off this thing. Turn the whole thing around. There we go. Go a lot smoother. Let's see, when you do things properly, they tend to work better. Oh man, okay. That's a good lesson in paying attention. Okay, so the last task for today is going to be cutting out the feet, which is going to be a real test of my coping skills. There's some tool humor for you. Uh, yeah, so I've tried to line up these boards as best as I can, which uh, should have done a better job of planing them down. But anyway, here we go. Let's see. I've never done this before. I'm going to swing you around so that you're on the other side because I think I'm right-handed. All right, so it's now a couple days later, um, and things aren't quite fitting properly. Uh, this piece here is curved, so I had to figure out how to do that. Like, none of this fits. This is too long and too wide. So the plan for today is to get everything to fit proportionally. Is that the right word? Fit together nicely. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna try and force this, but I definitely have to make this, this bottom piece narrower. And then I have to, yeah, clean up all these joints. So that's the plan for today. We'll see how far we get. And yeah, we'll go from there. But I mean, it's going all right. So I've done a couple things. I made this dado about, uh, I'd say an eighth of an inch deeper. And I planed the bottom piece down, you probably can't see that, um, to 11 inches. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over everything with sandpaper. Um, yeah, I wish I had an orbital sander, but you know, I'm waiting for that thousand subscriber and uh, four thousand until the, my channel gets monetized, and then I can start spending on the extravagances. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna sand everything down, and then I'm just gonna piece everything together slowly and just fit one thing into the next. Uh, with the side pieces, I'm definitely gonna have to use some screws to to keep everything. Um, in line and straight. Uh, yeah. Alright.
All right, welcome to day four, I think. Um, this lid's not actually on here. I ended up just screwing it all together because it kept, well, what had ended up happening was it was keep falling down. I was getting pissed off. And so I just put it together. Um, now what I need to do is plane up everything, make sure that this, you can see it rocks. Do that. I got some wood filler and some paint and all that. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how interesting this video is so far, but maybe I can get some B-roll in here to show you, you know, me doing the work. Uh, um, yeah, I I did end up cheating a bit, and uh, I used the uh, oscillating multi-tool to help me with the sanding. I remember that I took it from my dad. Um, so yeah, so that that helped. I still I would still like to monetize the channel. But anyway, uh, we'll get to that today and hopefully we can get somewhere. All right, so the way the lid works is pretty simple. There's gonna be this and then this piece here. And essentially what's gonna happen is that this will be against the back of the lid and then it'll just sort of butt up against there. So when you wanna hang the lid, you just hang it up like that. So now what I have to do is glue these two together, wait till that sets and then um, sand them down nicely and attach them to the lid. So that's what I'll do here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I've sanded everything down. I've marked here uh, where the lid sits against the rest of the box. And I'm going to measure uh, three quarters of an inch in from that. And maybe, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with eight, 12, 13 sixteenths. Yeah, I'm gonna go 13 sixteenths in from that. And mark there. And then that will be. line this up here yeah All right and that'll be it and I'll screw this in okay hey folks thanks so much for watching I do appreciate the support uh, here's uh, some pictures of the final chest it turned out all right actually in the end uh, it took some doing but it we got there uh, and here's Eloise uh, yeah. yeah, in the box. That's where she goes. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.